Hi, and welcome back, everybody. Today is going to be something real simple. Using leftovers, which is always cost efficient, we're going to make some scalloped potatoes. So what we're going to need is, I have some leftover ham, some onions, potatoes. I'm going to use a little cheat here. I buy this. It lasts so long. You don't use a little bit of it. That just makes whatever you're doing like a, a gravy thick. It's a thickener. And some milk and some butter. So basically, what, four, five ingredients. And it's going to come out delicious. So let me get this um, put down so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just going to spray my pan. And I'm just using a loaf pan. So I'm just going to make a small one. So we got that sprayed. I'm going to very thinly put a layer of potatoes down in here. And you see how thin I got them? Very thin. And we'll put our first layer down. And I've already gone ahead and pre-cut my ham up just so we don't have no fatty pieces in there. And sliced up some onions. So here we go. We got our first layer of potatoes down. And I'm going to take a little bit of ham. My hands are clean. I don't some of these. I'm going to cut up a little bit tinier. And just scatter the ham around. Some real thin sliced onions. Just scatter them around. And put another little piece of ham in here. Alright, and on this first layer, I'm gonna take a little bit of this wonder quick mixing flour. I'm just gonna put a little layer of that in there. Once it bakes with the butter and the milk. It's going to make it um, thicker, so you don't have a loose thing here. Very lightly, because I don't like to use a lot of salt, salt it, pepper it. And we're just going to keep going on and on and on like that until our pan is full enough. We'll put it in the oven, oh, 375, 45 minutes to an hour. And some people do like to put... Um, cheese on this I do not but it, your kitchen your taste buds you do what you want to do like I said as thin as you can get it we did have several mandolins and when you go to find one uh, we don't have not one in this house. I don't know where they went. Somebody else must have needed it more than I do. <laughs> so. All right, there's another layer of that. Let me just take some more of the ham. Pick up little ham pieces in there. And I'm just going to keep going like this till I run out of ham, basically. I don't know if you guys remember, I had gotten that ham on sale. I went back to get another one. Of course, they were all gone. But, um, I had cut it into threes, so I made it one the other day again. And we've had sandwiches out of it, things like that. Plus, we had the ham dinner. And then I, um, saved this so I could do another scallop potato. Once I'm all done, then I'm just going to pour the milk so the milk covers the potatoes and the ham and the onions. And I will, um, like I said, put it in the oven. So I'm just going to continue this, put it in the oven, and then I'll come back and show you when it's all said and done. Okay, so I just want to show you guys this before I put it in the oven. So we got our milk in there, our butter, did all our layers. 
and then we're gonna put it in the oven 375 45 minutes to an hour and like I said I will be back to show you the finished product okay here is our finished scalloped potatoes I'm just gonna um, dish them out um, have a side of green beans with it and I did want to tell you is that you don't have to have the leftover ham to have this you can use deli ham you can use a ham steak and um, where they sell the hams, usually up top, there's this already small pre-diced ham pieces. They do go on sale sometimes. Um, I do buy them um, here and there. I don't think I've ever really put them in scalloped potatoes, but I do like to put them in mac salad sometimes. So you can always do that. So, but I had, like I said, the leftover ham. We're gonna use it. So that $10 ham has now made us at 99 cents a pound and um, they just had a ham salad sandwich it has made over 14 meals that's just crazy and it was um, at 99 cents a pound I paid 10 something for it so a little bit over 10 pounds of ham and I didn't have to cook it all at once I cut it when I got home made it into three separate things one thing I did send over to my son's house the other two I kept here so that's it. If you guys have enjoyed this video, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. God bless. Have a great day.